Hey guys, welcome to another episode of DeLorean Tech, and today I'm going to show you how to Bluetooth your stock DeLorean radio. I uh, was able to utilize the CD changer controller that came with my car when I bought it. CD changers were kind of the thing back in the 90s and maybe early 2000s. This car had one. I was able to retrofit it with a Bluetooth, and now I'm able to basically play whatever the heck I want from my phone without having to connect it via wire or anything like that. So, overall, I'm, I'm really happy with this. The Bluetooth itself is installed in the center console, so you can't actually see it. And it's actually installed under the Sigur red ashtray here all it is is this US small little USB device Bluetooth dongle and it's completely hidden Okay, so here's what you're going to need for the Bluetooth installation. So the most important parts are your Bluetooth dongle. I went ahead and just bought um, one of these on Amazon. It's Bluetooth 5.0. you got to make sure it's Bluetooth 5.0. It has a 3.5 millimeter jack on the back and USB connection. The next most important thing is this. You need some form of USB power source. So this is a hardwire kit that gives you USB and you just tap into your car's 12 volt electrical system. You're going to also need either uh, headphone cables like these 3.5s or as in my case, since I'm going to be tapping into the CD changer system, I'm using this Y adapter. So it's a 3.5 to two RCAs because the CD changer controller in this car has RCA right and left inputs. You're going to need some side taps and some connectors and some wire strippers. So just a little note about the Bluetooth dongle here. So this is a receiver and a transmitter. All you really need though is a receiver for this to work. Now if you want to make wireless calls then you would also need a transmitter. So when in doubt just get a two-in-one at a minimum, you need to have a receiver. So for the Bluetooth, I'm going to tap into the light green and white wire here in this circuit, which is where the cigar lighter is. You've got the radio line running through there. Uh, clock, if you have it, I don't. So what I've done is I've used the power for the clock, theoretically, to power both the Bluetooth that I'm installing and the USB charger that I installed in a different video. So the solid purple is constant 12 volt and the green and white, the light green and white wire is an accessory 12 volt. So that turns off when you turn off the car and turns on when you turn on the car. This red and yellow wire, which goes to the clock, again, I don't have a clock, but it also goes to the cigar lighter illumination. I'm not going to be using that for the Bluetooth. I'm only going to be using the green and white. So the first thing you're going to want to do before you start, disconnect the battery. You really should just do this in general for any type of electrical work. I recommend having one of these battery kill switches. They come in really handy. So I've got all my connectors and wiring all ready to go. Everything's all laid out. I'm actually doing two videos at the same time. So just in case you see a couple wires, I'm connecting them all together. I'm also gonna run an, a separate inline fuse just to be on the safe side. 
I'm gonna tie both the cigar lighter and the Bluetooth power source into this and tap into the light green and white wire that's right there with a side tap. And then for the ground, I'm just gonna side tap into the existing ground over here. It's just easier to get to. So I've got both of my side taps in. So I side tap to the green and white wire, the light green and white wire. And I side tap to the ground over here. That's the ground that goes with the cigar lighter. So I'll be using that one. So I've got my power wire set up with my fuse. This is gonna be connected to the USB and the cigar lighter here. That's gonna be the power source. So for the Bluetooth, what I wanna do is I wanna be able to position the dongle right here. So in case I need to access it, it would be pretty easy just to take out the ashtray. So I'm gonna wanna connect my USB hardwire kit and just route all the wiring inside here. There's plenty of space in here. It's pretty low profile, um, but this stuff isn't really bulky. So for the Bluetooth, I've already made my connections. I've got the Bluetooth USB power cable here connected to the green and white wire. I'm gonna be connecting that through the side tap right here. Okay, so I've got my fused power cable right here and I'm just gonna be making that connection. Okay, so I tapped my power source in there and I routed all the wiring for the Bluetooth underneath here. You can kind of see it in there. It's a little tight, but there's plenty of room actually to stuff a bunch of cables. So I've got the USB power adapter in there. I've got all the excess wiring. Uh, I trimmed off some wiring so it wasn't as much, but um, came out pretty okay. Okay, so for the Bluetooth, I ran the USB through the center console right here. So the most of the wiring and the uh, voltage regulator, because it goes from 12 volts down to 5 volts DC. It's all right in here underneath. But there's like a there's like a bracket in there. Can't really see it, but that's where everything is. And I just routed the USB cable right here, and this is where I plan on connecting the dongle. So I've got my Bluetooth dongle, and I'm gonna hook it up to the other end of the Y adapter, which is this. 3.5 millimeter plug and just plug it right into the back there. Now I'm going to take this cable that I installed earlier and just plug it into that. And I'm going to do my testing. So I've got that plugged into the USB power source wired into the accessory 12 volts, so I'll need to take the key, turn on the ignition, in order to power that Bluetooth dongle up. So I have the ignition on, and I've got a flashing blue indicator here on the Bluetooth dongle. It tells me everything's powered up and ready to go. Now I just gotta get my phone, pair it up, and see what happens. So the Alpine CD changer controller has been installed here in the ashtray, sort of hidden from view. And that was done by the previous owner, probably back in the 90s. And uh, the system does have a remote. And here's the remote. And what you have to do here is hold this button down. So once I get it to the setup menu, I can select auxiliary I can turn that on and good to go so my input just want to make sure when I select source that I select aux for auxiliary so that will enable me to play my phone through my Bluetooth and then have that get picked up by the original DeLorean Craig radio So the Bluetooth 
dongle, which is actually a receiver and transmitter in one, has to be selected to the right mode. So right here, uh, the little blue flashing LED indicates that it's in transmitting mode. So I have to change this to receiving mode. How you do that is you unplug it, plug it back in, wait for it to start blinking, unplug it, plug it back in, and you're good to go. So you've essentially switched from transmitter mode to receiver mode. So you got that red LED flashing, that means you're in receiver mode, and you can now pair this up with your cell phone right here and start playing some music. According to the instructions, the device ID is this right here, this YETTR9. So that pops up. Go ahead and click on that. So we actually have the new Bluetooth connection paired right now. So let's go to um, maybe some music. Here we go. This looks appropriate. All right, so Power of Love by Huey and Lewis should be playing. Oh, yeah. Let's turn up our uh, the volume on this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Works great. One man weep, make another man sing. Change your heart to a little white dove. So now that we have the Bluetooth working, and it works, it's working great actually, I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up. I'm gonna install this in here, and I'm gonna route this through here. So it's all hidden, you can't see anything, and you don't have to spend $400 Bluetoothing your stock DeLorean head unit. It actually sounds pretty damn good. So I'm gonna to need to run the 3.5 millimeter cable from this compartment over into center console and ultimately at the Bluetooth connection. So just fish the cable into this little, there's like a little tunnel here almost, and you can grab the end of it right here and there it is so I've got the cable through here I had to take out the DeLorean Go cup holders so I run it through here and just connect it in here it's a good thing with DeLorean it's very easy to fish wires through the car now all I gotta do is hook it up to my Bluetooth and we are in business We can do this one-handed. There we go. Bluetooth connection enabled. 
So all I gotta do is just hide it in there and then put the ashtray back in. Bam, all done. All right, here's the ultimate test. So I put everything back and the Bluetooth is hidden from view. And we've got our phone here. So we're playing. Let's see what happens. Oh yeah. Take the keys out, everything's turned off. Bluetooth is disconnected, all that. Plug it back in. So how quickly it comes back. Connected. Press play. Wow, it's fast. I just want to know how quickly I can do this. So everything's turned off. Got my phone. Plug it back in. Press play. Wow, about five seconds. to see how long it takes me to go from this Samsung phone to this Apple iPhone. So I'm just gonna turn off the Bluetooth. Disconnected. And I'm gonna turn on this one. Wow, it's quick, real quick. Spotify real quick, stuff will play. Oh yeah. That was fast. Disconnected. Connected. That's the affordable Bluetooth option how-to video. If you have any questions, just drop them down in the comments. Thanks for watching.